what's up guys welcome back to the channel and I figured I'd take advantage of my drive back home to talk about what it's like to drive a modified F30 uh, it doesn't really matter if it's a 328 335 340 330 whatever it is Ooh, what happened there uh, anyways um, I wanted this was actually recommended or it was not recommended it was uh, it was suggested um, by one of you guys and I believe I think at one point it was actually suggested by somebody else as well I just never actually got around to making the video but I know there's videos out there of what it's like to daily drive a F30 and I don't as far as I know I might be wrong I'm not sure if there's any videos out there of people talking about what it's like to drive a modified F30. Alright, so the best part of it is that you get to drive a car that you really like a lot. Uh, I know a lot of us or a lot of people out there, they have a really nice car and then they have a beater. Or if you have the funds, then you have two really nice cars. But if you're one of those people that travel far to work obviously you're gonna want a car that you don't really care too much about about racking up miles or running the risk of you know some type of damage on the highway or what, what you know whatever it is so what i want to talk to you guys about is what the good and bad about driving a modified f30 is that's if something that you guys want to consider if Let's say if you're only going to be having one car and you're going to be traveling a good distance to and from work. So, first of all, if it's a, a car that you really care about, let's say if you if it's a car that you want to take to shows or car meets, obviously you don't want to be driving it up and down the highway every single day. The Just because, I mean, you run the risk of hitting some kind of debris on the road or you're just going to be collecting a whole bunch of rock chips uh, sooner or later and once you start getting rock chips obviously it's just kind of like a it's a mood killer especially if you own a dark car because it's a lot more noticeable so that's something that you guys might want to consider if you're really wanting to get into an F30 um, if you if it's a car that you really want to spend money on modifying then keep in mind that might want to get a daily beater as well um, but another thing is that you happen to get if you really have a good amount of things done to your car you know the daily compliments don't hurt at all it's nice to know that other people they appreciate the work that you put into your vehicle um, I don't get them daily and also I don't I mean obviously I don't stop at a, gas, at a gas station every single day but I am driving the car daily right now but lucky for me I do live 10 minutes away from work and I don't really have to drive on the highway I just take uh, the small roads and then eventually I'm, I'm at work uh, the only time that I do get on the highway now is if I'm either going uh, out of town or if I'm going to the gym then I end up getting on the highway right now but there's really not that much traffic flow so I don't have to worry about rock chips like that. Um, I do have a daily, as you guys know, which is going to be another project. And I've always had a daily. And because I, at one point I was working, it was taking me from 45 minutes. And then at one point it was taking me about an hour and 10 minutes just to get to work. So I was having, having to drive another hour, hour and 10 minutes back, uh, back home. But now it's a different story. And obviously it's... It's nice to be able to drive a modified car every single day, but it's just another chance of you breaking something. Like, say you guys, you guys know I recently broke my lip not too long ago. So that's something that you guys might want to consider. Also, you're putting wear and tear on your vehicle, which is something that you're gonna have to maintain more. Like when it comes to pain, even if you guys don't get rock chips, if you're driving it every day, there's other people that you have to worry about as well. Let's say if you go to the grocery store to pick up something up. No matter how far you try to park, 
you never know there's always gonna be that one person who tends to park right next to you and it seems like it it's like 80% of the time when that happens uh, and you know there's a lot of careless people out there they, they don't really consider the time and effort that other people put into their cars and they just don't care sometimes I feel like people do it on purpose if they see you park far away they see you and then they feel the need to just park next to you for no reason while there's other park, other parking spots around them. So you have to worry about more things as well. But like I mentioned, it's nice to be able to get compliments here and there when it comes to um, driving a modified car. Driving a low car, uh, it's something that I've done for years and something that I've been able to deal with. And unfortunately, you can't go every everywhere you have to be very picky on where you go and if it's a new area you just have to hope that you don't hit anything um, you just gotta hope that you don't hit any construction on the road because then every now and then they'll be setting up those big ass metal plates on the road and when you see those you gotta hope that you don't hit one um, so Driving a lowered car can be a hassle, especially how low mine is. I have to be very cautious on where I go. And um, yeah, sometimes I have to park somewhere else and then just walk to my destination. And also, let's say you clear the front of your car, then you have to worry about the sides. Uh, the Susker extensions that I have now, they sit a little bit lower than the ones that I had before. And I've managed to scrape my old ones, so I know it's possible to scrape these because I think I almost caught one and uh, it's just another thing that you guys might want to take into consideration oh excuse me when um, you're driving a modified car but other than that I mean even with the tune I still get good gas mileage as long as I'm not on it and obviously at first I was on it all the time and now that I've had the tune for a while I've managed to learn how to control myself and not waste gas for no reason. Um, sometimes it's hard to not to, but it's just something that you have to kind of get used to. And I mean, this car, it's it's full bolt-ons, but you can really daily the car. And the thing is, I, I just don't want to. Um, I want to be able to keep this car in good condition. Right now, I'm just doing it because I don't have my car up and running yet but once I get the daily fully going then this car is just going to sit for uh, a good amount of time uh, I'm probably just gonna take it out certain days on the weekends uh, and then just save it to car events because this is a car that I'm really putting a, a lot of thought and effort into and I really want to maintain it there's so much that I want to do to this car and having it as a daily it's just not suitable for me and yes you can do a uh, paint protection but just being real it's expensive uh, if you don't have the connections to get it done getting your whole car PPL is mad expensive I got quoted $300 for my lip uh, between 250 and 350 just for the lip itself so I don't have, I'm gonna be honest with you I don't I don't have the funds to PPF my whole car because if a lip is three hundred dollars that's like a whole freaking wrap job so and then that's another thing I've I've been considering wrapping my car and I really wanted to for uh, this coming show at the end of the month <laughs> but I it's just not like I haven't had this car for too long and I really just want to finish the show, I mean, finish the year with um, being, with it being white. Uh, park. So, I want to finish the year with the car being white because I haven't really taken it to any events like that. Uh, I mean, I've been to a few, but I haven't really been out there like that with the color white. And maybe next year, I'll consider wrapping it. And I know I'm kind of getting off subject, but hey, why not? Let me just fill you guys in. So um, uh, hopefully that kind of gives you guys an idea if it's something that you guys want to. If you want to build your car similar to mine, 
or and then maybe beyond that just consider that obviously stuff can happen to your car and you just got to be prepared and be willing to deal with it if you're going to be dailying it other than that i mean i wouldn't recommend daily driving the car if you're going to be driving let's say more than 20 30 miles a day on the highway because a lot of things can happen on the highway and some some of the things just unavoidable you know somebody could run over something and then toss it up to your car so as cautious as you might want to be some there's some things we just can't avoid so you know keep in mind on if you're planning to lower your lower your car uh, if you're spending money on exterior parts that you're scared that you might break also another thing is the more miles you rack up on the car the more maintenance the car is going to need so it's going to be a lot more consistent on the maintenance that you have to put into the car versus if you have it as a weekend or show car project car but that's going to do it for today's video guys um if there's any other recommendations that you guys might want to see leave it in the comments down below and i'm going to try to stay more consistent with uploads so once again thank you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one